I'm going to show you how to roll a slab of clay. So right now I have Play-Doh, but this will work with any kind of clay. I had a ball of Play-Doh here and I placed it down. And the first thing I do is I take the palm of my hand and I just press it a little bit to make it a little flatter, okay? When I start rolling my slab, I start in the middle and I roll forward and backward, okay? And then I like to pick up my slab and turn it. Sometimes you can flip it over and start again in the middle and roll forward and backward, okay? We have two goals here. The first goal is to make it nice and even, meaning that the whole slab is the same thickness all the way across it. You don't wanna make the middle thick and the edges really skinny. So sometimes you have to um, ease up on your pressure when you're getting close to the edge so you don't squish the edge too much. Okay, the second goal is to make it about as thick as your pinky. Like right now it's a little higher than my pinky. Because with real clay, clay shrinks when it dries and it also shrinks when it gets fired in a kiln. So we like to practice making it as thick as our pinky because it will get thinner. So that's pretty good. After you roll your slab, you can have some fun just cutting out some shapes. I have a heart cookie cutter here. If you don't have cookie cutters, you can use like a table knife or something just to cut some shapes. Cut out a square or a rectangle. Can even press some textures into objects. Like I found this little texture thing tool. Yeah. Or you can find other objects like this is a an ice cream cone. take your scraps and you can roll them out again. Practice rolling those slabs nice and even and about as thick as your pinky.